who is Majaliwa? Majaliwa is a Bantu Israelite. The languages that I speak, I speak Bembe, my main language, Swahili, Lingala, English, and French. There are other languages that I understand. I can't speak much, but I understand them. Those languages include Fuliru, Rega, Mashi, and Kiluba, widely spoken in Congo. I also understand Kikuyu, Luya, and Turkana, spoken in Kenya. I also understand Kirundi, spoken in Burundi. I also understand Kiha and Kibembe, spoken in Tanzania. And many other African Bantu languages. I can hear a little bit here and there and mix and understand what is going on. Where does Majaliwa belong in terms of country? I belong in Israel, Israel as a nation. Not the one in Middle East, but the one in Africa. The nation that has been scrambled and partitioned and divided into small, small pieces. The land of the Bantu people. So some areas where I specifically belong is the area of Congo. I belong into Congo, into Tanzania, and into Kenya. Why I am saying so? Because my ancestors can be traced into those areas. I can trust my ancestors from Congo, where I was born, in Tanzania, and Kenya, where I've lived. So I belong into those regions as my name mentioned, Majaliwa. This name belongs to all those countries. So I strongly believe that those are the areas of the Israelites, and I am a citizen of those areas. But currently living outside the continent, in Australia, but soon I should be going back to the promised land. What do you expect from Majaliwa? Some people in few years when I have been just uploading uh, song videos, people expected to hear the gospel from me, preaching in a colonial mindset, preaching in a colonial framework. But now I am trying to challenge you that this reality, this truth has been hidden for so long and we need to speak out. Many of us have known this truth for years, but being afraid of saying it out because of the opposition we get from our own people. But we say enough is enough, we have to tell them. Either they believe or not, they have to understand that Bantu are the biblical Israelites. That's why our languages relate to each other. Our culture relate to each other. That's why we are so many in the face of the earth. Our brothers and sisters are in the Americas and scattered all over. Now we are mixed up by other Africans and it has become a total confusion. But I can still assure you that we are the biblical Israelites and the land below Egypt. I can call it up because this side of the south is up, is mountainous and all the rivers flow from the side of the east, side of the south going into north. So that's the upper side. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 2, you will hear how God is telling Moses that you've been doing rounds in this mountain for so long. Now turn to the side of the high, the high side from Egypt to the high side. It means to follow the mountainous areas, the land of milk and honey, the promised land. If you are still looking the promised land in Middle East, you are misleading yourself and your congregation. If you are still praising the Lord, singing the gospel with conviction that the promised land is in Middle East, you better change now. So this is Majaliwa Machinda. Mlongecha mwene tombwe, itungano yababuchi. A singer, a songwriter, a guitarist, and a campaigner of the biblical truth, turning people from the lie taught by the colonizers and shift our discourse into the truth and stay in the truth. And the moment, my fellow Bantu people, wherever you are, the moment you realize that we are the descendants of Abraham, we are the children of Jacob, Israel, that's the moment we become free. Yeah, I understand God is God of everybody, but he particularly singles us out. That's why the Ashkenazi Jews have taken our identity. If you don't see this very well, we are finished. Start learning your language. Start having names from your language. Start preserving your culture. 
because this is what the Most High requires from us. The moment we discover the truth, the moment we realize that we have been lied for so long, we rise up and we preach the good news to everyone. And when they believe, we become free, free, free indeed.